Good evening, everyone. It's Wednesday, 9 p.m., and I feel like cleaning tonight. If you don't know me, if you are new around here, my name is Renata. I am a teacher, and I have been one for the last 15 years, and I have never lived abroad. I'm here to help you reach the English that your career demands and leave that okay English behind and reach your goals and your professional dreams. Hi, everybody. Hi, Marcela. Good to have you here. Hi, Diana. And we are inviting in, as usual, MC. Let's all say hi. Hi, Larissa. Welcome. Hi, partner. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And you? I'm good. Can't complain. What a great <laughs> evening. <laughs> good, good to see you all, good to see everyone here. I don't know, but it feels like it's been a while since our last live lesson. I don't know why. Yeah. But anyway, I am very excited because today we're going to do some cleanup. Perfect. You can see the cleaning, the soap emoji here. Um, hi, Harley. Hi, everyone. We have a lot of new faces here. Welcome to class. Um, we are going, uh, as usual, I hope to have had my bug fixed and my Instagram working, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys here on the screen what the topic is. In case you don't know, we are going to clean our... Yeah, it's still not working. I guess it, might, it, it must be my iOS. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, here I am. I promise okay. I'm going to laugh today. <laughs> You're used to it already, right? But anyway, guys, we're going to clean your pronunciation for good. We are going to um, address the issue of the S and the consonant right after that. Words like, um, um, oh, let's see what kind of words, all right? We're going to address the inexistent I that we insist on saying before the S, including an I that is not there, that is not supposed to be there. You know, and we Brazilians make that mistake so many times. Oh, and, and I'm I here like wondering to... if I make that mistake. I'm curious now. <laughs> and I like to, we always say this. Um, sometimes we get compliments. People say, well, I, your accent is so beautiful or your accent is so, you know, I don't know what. But I, I always like to say that it's the pronunciation that matters don't worry about having a little bit of an accent, you know, of being recognized as a Brazilian. Worry about having clean pronunciation, clear pronunciation, even if you let people know that you are not native. And that's okay. There's no problem with being a Brazilian. That's amazing, right? Your culture, where you come from, your origin. So let's clean the pronunciation because we want to communicate at a high level. You know, you want to Communicate in the workplace, be clear and let people know why we are here, what we are doing, and we don't want to give space to any miscommunication. We don't want to be the guy or the girl that everyone has to correct or, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you said or, hey, what did he say? What did she say? We don't want that. So we're going to clean our pronunciation. Um, and uh, MC, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe you, you didn't realize, you haven't realized yet. No. But you, you surely do know what we talked about. I actually made a Reels the other day about this. Um, it was a little bit of a joke. You know, my funny side sometimes. Is this class for you? Should you be here? Hi, Fatinha. My dear aunt is here with us. Um, so is this class for you? Niziane, welcome. Lili, Luciana. Chris, hi, Chris. Andre, another Luciana. Everyone. So is this class for you? Let's see. You're going to tell me if this class is for you or not. Okay? Okay. Let's see. How do you pronounce MC? Zip it for now, okay? Zip it. How do you pronounce these words? Hi, Priscila. Hi, Matemática Mastigada. I don't know your name, but you, I've seen you around too. <laughs> Hi, Guilherme, too. How do you pronounce these words, guys? You are at home, where, wherever you are, whoever is around you. Stop what you're doing. You're listening to me and repeat these words, okay? I will give you time and then I'm going to repeat the word and you're going to compare your pronunciation with mine. How do you say the first word? 
Again, come again. Okay, the word is small. MC, how do you say that word? Small. Not small. Not small. But maybe I add small. a little z there no, no, that you... it's not supposed to be there. Oh, no, 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 no. You're good. You're good. I'm just calling attention to, you know, the, the E's before. The second one, how do you say that word? MC, go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Smart. Oh, start. Start. Did you say start or did you say start? Third word. Sorry. How do you say that word? Specific. Okay, I say it. Yes. Oh, I say it. Specific. Not specific. 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 No, I. The last one. Oh, this one is a classic. How do you say it, MC? Smile. Smile, not smile. Smile. No, smile. Okay. This mistake is very common, you know, um, for, let me just do this so you guys can see me better. Okay. This mistake is very common. Let's practice that in small sentences, okay? Like this one. The word is small. When you put it in, uh, you know, together with uh, another verb, you might do this. You might do this. It's is small. It's is small. Do you do that? It's is small. It's is small. Doubling the S, putting an I in the middle. It's is small. The second one, how do you say the second sentence, guys, at home? How do you say it? How do I say it? It started. It started. And the third one, I say it the same way. It started. It started. You don't say number two. It is started. It is started. It is started. No. And number three, it is started. It is started. No, you don't. It started. Number two. It started. Number three. Because the S here, um, the first S and the second S become one sound. You do not include a vowel. It is, it is started or it is started. All right? So um, another one here. How do you pronounce these? Read for me, everybody at home. Okay, I'm listening to you. I'm listening. How do you say the first phrase, right? The first expression? MC, how do you say it? A specific task. Mm -hmm. So when you have a specific, a specific or a specific, a specific, not a specific, a specific test, a specific, a specific, a specific, a specific, us or a, a specific, not a e specific. The, the other one, how do you guys read it? Come on, go. You are at home, but I can hear you. You bet I can. Go. How do you read that? And UMC. A little smile. Mm -hmm. a, little, a little smile. A little smile. Not a little smile. A little smile. A little is, a little is, mm -mm. a little smile. So, including that is, is wrong. It's a standard operation. It's a, I'm reading the wrong way, okay? Wrong, pay. It's a standard operation. It's a standard operation. Uh-uh. Now, read it with me. It's a standard operation. It's a standard operation. Mm -hmm. A standard, a standard. Another one that's wrong. I will take a screenshot, a screenshot. I will take a screenshot. Mm -mm. I will take a, 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 I will take a screenshot. Go. I will take a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Us, us, not I, I. Another one. He's smart. Not he is smart. He is smart. Wrong. He is smart. Wrong. He's smart. He's smart. The two S's become one. He is smart. So sometimes we worry about pronouncing clearly, but what do we do? We actually overpronounce some sounds that are not supposed to be pronounced, and we are afraid of putting the, word, the, the letters together 
And then we go, oh, I have to say he is, he is smart. Then I breathe in between the words, he is, is smart. No, he is smart. I'm going to give you a hint, a, a tip, you know, to help you really grasp that idea and not forget how to do it. Okay. Um, let me show you. Uh, and an it's example funny because if you, if you don't pay attention at this, you're also going to stress the, the, the wrong syllable in the in the next word you know mm -hmm. like he is his mom in this example there's only one syllable but yeah it, it that's why i always say this too you know when you mess up one part of the word it complicates your whole life even your intonation depends on that your intonation the correct intonation depends on it but anyway we'll go step by step don't freak out all right Let me give you a tip, guys. In that example of he is smart. Okay, tip of the day. Tip of the day. I am not telling you to separate the sounds. I am just telling you that for us Brazilians, it's easier to visualize the S in the other word. Like as if it's finishing the word before, then starting the next word. It's just to... to Play a game with our brain, you know, lie to our brain, like lie, lie. So instead of saying he is, he is smart, oh my God, that what's that, right? He is smart. He is smart. He is, attention, is, there is a Z, and then you change to, okay, he is, he is smart. Try it. He is smart. It, it works, right? He It is does. smart. You have to... You have to... Luciana is saying that she liked the explanation a lot. Thank you. Um, it's like the letter E that some pronounce wrongly at the end of and. Andy. Uh -huh, Luciana. That's a whole other topic for another class. <gasps> including <gasps> that vowel too. Yes. It's, Pronunciation, it's the, the, yeah. They're, they're brothers. You know, they're siblings. The E before and the E at the end of the words. <laughs> Um, so anyway, when you, when you say that S, you have to force it without having a vowel before is, no, he is smart. He is smart. He is smart. Try it, guys. He is smart. He is smart. No. The next one, it's small. It's, it's small. It's small. It's small. It's small. Uh-huh. <laughs> If you say it's small or it's small or it's small, you say the same thing. This is a way to trick your brain into saying that S, but not saying the E. All right? Let's try it again. It's small. It's small. Yeah. So go like give, give your, your brain a little trick there. Trick your brain into doing it. And All don't right, forget the one. Britney Spears L. L. Yes. Roll that L, baby. Um, like you have in, in the first example, right? They are, they are specialized in that service. And ooh, unfortunately, the sentence was broken into two lines. But okay. They're, they're specialized. They're specialized. Attention to the sh sound, okay? Spe specialized. And we have the, the final ED there that's also important to, to work on, right? So you have. They're specialized. They're specialized. Mm -hmm. They're specialized. They're specialized. Guys, let us know in the comments if you are practicing at home too with us and if it makes sense to you, if it's working, all right? Blow that S like S. Don't include any vibration, any I before. Okay, let's work on some, some isolated words. Remember that we are always aiming at words that you guys can use in the workplace, words that are more difficult, more formal, more elevated. So we are thinking about your necessities um, with everything that we, we bring into the classroom, okay? So that first word, for example, standard. Standard. Yes. S -s -s Structure. Ooh, this one, this one is so so frequently incorrectly pronounced like is structure is structure oh thank you thank you mia mia or mia i don't know 
Thank you. Um, structure. Structure. Mm -hmm. Below the S, no I before. Ooh, tough one out. Statistics. Statistics. Okay, listen to yourself. Close your eyes if you need to, to, to focus on what you were saying. Statistics. Statistics. Mm -hmm. Specific. Specific. Spokesperson. Spokesperson. I love that Hi, word. Hi, Natalia. Welcome. Hi, Ju. Um, spokesperson. Yes, if you don't know who or what, who a spokesperson is, is someone that represents a company or a business or a brand and, you know, talks to the press or to, to the public about that, that brand or that company. Spokesperson. And speak, right? Spokesperson is the elevated words. Hi, Jushina for, uh, you know, the workplace and so on. It's a cool word to know, but simple words like speak, spoke, of course, follow the same rule. Spam. Oh, spam. It's in my spam. Spam. No. Spam. Spam. Mm, Slow. Close because we, we, I've attended that class as well, M and N. Yes, yes. Recently, we have done that. We have a, a taught that class very recently. Okay. One more here. Slowly. Slowly. Blow the S. Don't say the I. Slowly. Scrum Slowly. Master. This is a shout out to the IT guys. Oh, shout out, shout out to Justina. Justina is here. She worked with IT, right, Justina? Shout out to the IT fellas. Scrum master. Scrum master. Schedule. Schedule. Oh, I see a question. I see a question. Jumar, I'm going to respond, okay? Um, schedule also offers the, the, the pronunciation schedule. Especially British people will pronounce it schedule. But, you know, I'm going to focus on the pronunciation that I use. So we have yeah. schedule, not e-schedule. Schedule. Schedule. All right. Jumar asked what the difference between spam and Spain is. The M at the end or the N. So we close. Let me just. Spam. Spain. Spam. Spain. All right. The way that you close. In English, we have to close that final M touching the lips and n with the tongue behind your the roof uh, on the roof of your your mouth behind your teeth all right and to wrap here smashing 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 amazing smart smart you're welcome Juma. smoke smoke or smoke right in the air smoke smoke mm-hmm all righty. And uh, I, this one, okay, mm. <laughs> it's because when I wrote it, it kind of came out a little, a little compromising <laughs> because, of, because of the word. A uh, slight became as slight. But you guys know. <laughs> so you didn't want to write it. I knew yeah. it. Yeah. But anyway, you know, just ignore that. Just ignore the little, you know, pun there. So there is a slight diff. There is a, a slight, a slight, a slight. There is a slight difference. There is a slight difference. Not a slight. There is a slight. There is a slight. Can you guys hear the difference? Let me know in the comments. When I say there is a slight difference, there is a slight. I can hear that a lot when someone pronounces it incorrectly like that. I can hear it a lot. Um, I and want you know you what? Guys... I, I do that too. Because now I'm thinking and I'm trying to rewind here. And I, I, I use the z and a vibration sound when it's not necessary. So there's Maybe a slight. There's a slight. Oh, see? okay. Uh -huh. I'm with That's... you folks. If you make that mistake, <laughs> so do I. So maybe MC then it's something it's nice to call attention to uh, just to say hi here Diane is so hi so so um, because when the word before is a vowel with a vibration like ah 
we we will tend to say a is light or a slight, mm. but we have to say a slight, a slight, slight. difference. No vibration. Oh, oh, oh my no. God. Okay. That S at the beginning of the word, especially followed by a consonant, is always s. All right? Slight, skate, smile, smart, always like that. Never, not, not a Z sound. Um, all right. And so high all five of these... if you make that mistake too, just like me. <laughs> been there right yeah but and and i think it's important that to build that awareness we are always t talking about awareness because maybe as mcs just realize that um 80 of the words she pronounces correctly but she's making a small mistake be, be, uh, inside the big mistake she's making a small mistake so you guys can perfect that too or maybe you are still making the big mistake and that's why we are here to help you stop making that mistake, okay? Because it does interfere a lot with your, um, with your communication, you know, uh, like uh, it's so typically uh, um, an incorrect mistake made by Brazilians. I'm not saying we're the only ones that make that mistake, okay? I talk about Brazilians because I teach Brazilians. I am in Brazil, so I cannot talk about all the nationalities and how they, they absorb the language. But anyway, it's something very common among us. So keep an eye on that, all right? What are we going to do? We are going to leave the, these sentences and words. We're going to send them to you uh, if you are in our Telegram group because we prepare a PDF and we send it to the Telegram group, all right? If you want to receive that, send us a DM here on Instagram, a message. Just say, I want, the, I want to be part of the group. Because we have been doing this. We have been teaching the class. And then, because I always like to give you guys more opportunities to practice, um, I will send you the PDF by, uh, through the Telegram group. And what do I want you to do with that? Homework. You will receive the PDF. And then you will practice the repetition of the pronunciation again. How? Recording yourself. And then you're going to listen to yourself and see how you did. You can do that tomorrow, and then you can repeat that a couple days later, two, three times, four times. And you, you can even compare yourself and see how you are doing after the third, the fourth exercise, all right? And that's going to turn on a little knob in your brain and, and go like, mm, let me correct this next time I speak, in my next opportunity uh, at a meeting or, you know, talking to someone. Because pronunciation is an effort, that you have to make to change. It feels artificial when you start. It feels like you are exaggerating the sounds. It's not natural, but believe me, it's more natural than the incorrect pronunciation. The incorrect pronunciation may feel easy or comfortable, comfortable to you, but it's not the way it's supposed to be, all right? Good, Luciana, yes, yeah, so recording yourself and listening to yourself. You guys have the power to give you feedback, to give yourselves feedback, and to improve your own English by uh, correcting yourself through self-correction. I can tell you a zillion times you're making a mistake. If you don't want to change, if you don't realize you need to change, you won't. That's for anything in life, for English, for personal problems, you know, for, I don't know, I have to be a better person, I need to change. You have to want to change. So that exercise of listening to yourself works wonders, okay? So send us a DM if you want to receive that. We really hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. You know, we are here every Wednesday at 9 p.m. with different topics. This week was pronunciation. Next week, who knows, grammar, vocabulary. MC is sharing, sharing her experiences in Canada, right? Because she's in Canada, if you don't know. And if you are watching this, um, later on YouTube or on IGTV, follow us too and send this live to your friends who, you know, who want to learn English, who want to speak, um, who want to get the English that their career demands and leave that okay English behind, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for your company, for being here with us and practice again. What you learned today was the first step. Now you need to practice and see how your performance is. Give yourself feedback, get feedback, and really uh, improve this for good, all right? Thank you, thank you, Niziani, thank you, Larissa. 
Thank you, Tia Fatinha. Thank you, Luciana, Diana. Good to have you all here. We have a lot of students here tonight, right? Gold diggers and familiar faces and new faces. Partner, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for a great class. And I'll see everyone again next Wednesday. Oh, great. Great, Mia. First time here. Oh, so we are here every week. And there are a lot of classes from, from you know, last year too. Check it out on IGTV. It's always the same thing, you know, like we are here interacting with each other and inviting you guys to practice with us. Great, Juma. Welcome to class next week again. Bye, Guilherme. Bye, Francisco. And everybody, see you guys around. And next week too, Wednesday, 9 p.m., okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>